Hi, have we met? I'm Cassandra from the West Midlands Best Use of Stock Partnership, Wimbus for short. I don't know whether you've heard, but this year we'll see the biggest changes to benefits, well probably ever. Not only is there a change to how you receive money, but there's also massive changes to how much you'll get. I've spoken to a few customers who didn't know about these changes, so I thought I'd give you the lowdown. There's four major changes that I need to tell you about. The first change is called bedroom tax. A daft name, but really serious if you have spare rooms in your house. Based on the rules, if you have a spare room, you could lose up to 25% of your housing benefit. Here's some of the rules. It'll also affect you if you have shared access arrangements for your children. Only one of the carers will be allowed a bedroom allowance and it's the one who receives child benefit. The Holloway family are just one household that will be affected by this. Hi guys. Hi Cassie. Rob, you have two sons don't you, in a three bedroom house? Yep, they're 12 and 14 and they have their own room at the moment. Well, the bedroom tax rules say the boys must share a bedroom until they're 16. So that means your housing benefit will be cut by 14% per week. That's a bit worrying, as that means I'll lose over 11 quid a week. And things are a bit tight at the moment. We must be able to stop it. You can't stop it. It's a government decision. But there are a number of ways we're trying to help. Do you have the internet? Yes, we've got a computer in the back room. Well, on your landlord's website, there's loads of info to help you including a calculator to check whether you'll definitely be affected and how much benefit you'll lose. Then you've got a couple of options. The big question is whether you want to pay the difference and stay in your home or move to a smaller home. Well, I've considered moving to be honest because we just can't afford the extra money every week. If you've decided to move, take a look at your local choice based letting scheme which will tell you how to go about moving or alternatively visit the Home Swapper website. It's a way of finding an exchange. You can get access to both of these schemes by visiting your landlord's website. Cassie, if I wanted to stay after all, what would I need to do? Well the first thing you'll need to do is work out how you'll pay the difference between the rent your landlord charges and the benefit you'll receive. You may need to plan your household budget and there's loads of help around for this. Or you could try finding work and boosting your income to cover the extra cost. There are some great websites around to help you with this. Here's a few. OK, Rob, well, I'll catch you later. I just need to go and see another customer who'll be affected by one of the other changes. It's something called direct payments. Hi, Cassie. How are you doing? Come in. Thanks. I just wanted to update you on a change to how your benefits will be paid. Did you know, starting from October 2013, your rent won't be paid to your landlord. It'll be paid directly to you, along with all your other benefit entitlements. It'll be one lump sum. What? In cash? Because I don't have a bank account. Oh, well, you'll need a bank account, so that's the first thing you'll have to sort. The Money Advice Service are really good at explaining what type of accounts are out there and what you should be thinking about. OK, I can set up an account, but I don't know how to pay you. The best thing to do is to set up a direct debit. Once they're set up, you don't have to think about it and you'll know exactly how much you're left to budget with. Give your landlord a call and they can set that up for you. Great. Thanks, Cassie. I'll definitely do that, as October will be here before I know it. Just while I'm here, Miss Vincent, I need to tell you about another change to benefits. Have you heard that a limit is going to be put on the benefits of non-working households? It'll be £500 per week, or £26,000 a year, and it will affect you if you claim any of these benefits. Oh, OK. Just before I go, a final change is called non-dependent deductions. If you live with people who are over the age of 18 and not in full-time education, who are working or claiming benefit, you will have a deduction made to your housing benefit. How much will depend on how much they're earning? That doesn't affect me, but it's worth knowing, as it'll affect my friend Sonia. I'll let her know. All right then. Well, make sure you set that bank account up. I'll see you later. Well, that's it. There's the four main changes. I urge you to get in touch with your landlord if any of these things affect you. It is happening and your benefits will change. There's loads of info on all the changes on your landlord's website. Go on, get in touch.